give it away. Hi guys and <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Oh no. Welcome to my channel, guys. Um, yeah, it's been so long. It's been so long since I've vlogged. You know, uh, when my hair is like this, it reminds me of a time when I was 16, running around the block, just dreams. <laughs> no limits, just dreams. <laughs> Do you guys know that TikTok um, of Jennifer Lopez being weird, trying to be relatable? Anyway, I found like a better spot. I'm literally sitting on the floor. But I felt like, let me vlog. I'm in Cape Town for the weekend. And I'm, I can't explain how happy I am, you guys. Like, it feels so refreshing to have just a memory of who I used to be. <laughs> Just a memory of like me, you know, traveling, um, just enjoying the little things in this life. Well, not so little because I've come to realize that a lot of these things are luxury now. You know, my life has been so routine for the past six months. I've been like, I haven't, I don't sit down. Like, I don't sit down. I don't have time where I am just sitting down and I'm doing absolutely nothing. Like, I haven't had that in a long time. And that's not to say today I'm not going to do anything. Because guess what? When I was on my when I was in my Uber here, I was checking my emails. In, in, the, in the Uber, my laptop was open. So it's not to say I'm not doing anything. But just a little bit of an escape from my normal life and normal environment. It just feels... It feels very refreshing guys like when i landed i had like a you could on it i had like a song in my head it seemed like it felt so good you know it felt i felt a bit alive okay but yeah man i'm really happy to i'm really happy to be in the city of cape town um i'm really happy to be in cape town man I've been on mom mode, guys. I've been a mom, which I will always be. And I treasure that role. Um, and the working mom on top of that. You know, I haven't had any social time, really. Apart from at work with my colleagues, but like I haven't had time to myself to do things that I like, you know, and just be loved on and you know feel like a girl so it feels good yeah this feels good i'm gonna head out now i'm um, gonna go see my cousin you guys remember my cousin she lives in cape town and i'm gonna be seeing her after a long time the last time i saw her was the last time i was in cape town like how sick is that like how crazy is that i don't even know if i vlogged that cape town trip maybe i did maybe i didn't i don't know i think i did though but that was the last time I saw her and yeah, I'm so happy that I get to see her and I've got a new um, nephew, so Ebo, like it feels good to be here. And guys, look at my hair. I mean, it's messy now, but guys, I didn't know how high maintenance long hair was, but I'm gonna figure it out. One thing about me, I'm not a hair girl, like I'm not a hair guru girl, but one thing about me, Sana, I will figure it out. Like, I love having, I love looking good in general. So I will figure how to maintain this hair as best as possible. <sighs> I'm talking so much. This was my airport fit. Cotton on leggings. And I'm wearing my, what are these, Michael Kors sneakers. Do you guys remember these sneakers? Like, I barely wear them. Sports bra from Shein. And this jacket is actually my mom's jacket. But I like it. I've never wanted to live in Cape Town. Like I've never had that 
urge i know a lot of people a lot of people visit cape town and like see themselves there like they can envision themselves living in cape town guys i don't know it never happens to me every time i see cape town i'm just like this is the perfect break that i need and then i want to go back to the hustle and bustle in Joburg. i just feel like this is just not for me like i don't romanticize cape town to that extent like i understand that it's a holiday but i don't see myself living here i just it's bland i know flavor my new cape town for me it's not my aesthetic um i'm not a i'm not in a i'm not an aesthetic girl i love hoodness <laughs> like i love culture and i feel like cape town likes that cape town is too what for me yeah cape town is too white for me um yeah it's not my kind of luxury i'd rather go live in another country if i want to be bougie and you know but i hope i'm making sense but i got again when i eat there and i'm happy to be here guys can we talk about how beautiful cape town apartments are hi 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 isn't this a genie vibes Guys, this is a dream apartment. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Just cooking for my husband. My marble kitchen. You? Daytime. <laughs> Your lighting is insane. Ingati the Americans. Easily. Ingati. It's just so perfect. No, guys, <laughs> but it's fine, guys. You can't condition everyone to be content creation. Exactly. It's, it's really not. Hey guys, I am so obsessed. This is my little cousin doing big things here. So it's for little or what I was just a year about. <laughs> you like my age. You're literally you? 28. You're right. Oh my god. Why would you say that? You're chasing thirds. I wanna live this life. I want to just have my cousin drive me in Cape Town. <laughs> this is what I did. If not, you open my shake as you want to be one and sit. Cause I'm not That's all. That's all you are. Do you have many wine farms? And nam dana, and nam sedensi, and nam pills. That's what I need right now. That's what I need. They want to learn the year and I'm planning. It's what I want to be when I was young. Oh, it's hilarious. If you want to be a car, might be a whole other person. <laughs> Dude, I needed I this. I wish I had family in Cape Town. That's Home, that's where we would eat. That's it. Yo, if I lived here. Yo, oh. it's over. But yes, and that's it's I was over actually for everyone. <laughs> but that's I was thinking earlier. But I don't think about moving to Cape Town at all. Oh. And I think I'm the only person who can learn. And I know my dear, you can get some get cost. Yeah, yo. You're the only one. I think. People must get off the coast. Yeah, especially yeah. for like property. Oh, Cape Town is very intimidating. And Google Go has digital nomads. Yeah. Ah, bye, yeah, bye, bye, bye. But the American. Cape Town looks so good on me, guys. I'm sitting at the. Look at my cousin, body. Okay, one thing about my family, body. Anyway, um, we're chilling at the clubhouse. And it's so calm, guys. Kids are playing Hey, this is me today. I'm wearing this skirt. You guys probably can't see, but it's it's just like I don't know what to call this. <laughs> but I got this skirt from Yellow Sub Trading. It's actually like a set, but the set is a crop top, and the weather in Cape Town is just not giving that. It's giving I don't know what's happening. I'm literally on the verge of asking my cousin if who's on it and I'm planning or not. I'm wearing this normal tank top. I'm wearing my new LV scarf. Ah, how cute. It's not a scarf really, it's a headband. 
and i'm wearing the necklace i showed you guys from woolies i'm wearing the earrings to match my gold watch and my lv slides yeah i'm giving like a rich housewife today like i'm giving like a proper you know i'm dating oh i'm married to a rich guy and i'm just running errands for my man you know and our little dog we don't have kids <laughs> okay maybe we've got, we've got one we've got mimi but yeah i feel sexy i feel cute i feel feminine but yeah this is me today the bunda the body Giving. Oh my god, I don't think I've seen this range in Joburg. This is the power range of lingerie. I don't even want to buy this one. I think this is cute. Yeah, I think I want to try this one. Good morning, guys. I decided, you know what, to take up and. and uh, I can't sleep. <laughs> I just went to Mr. Price to buy a jacket and I'm realizing actually I was being dramatic because the weather is actually perfectly fine and I'm just feeling a bit nostalgic like wow thank god for life please look at the mountain okay. I think I need a mimosa and just to sit and reminisce and enjoy this beautiful view. I think I'm gonna go to Paul and have a mimosa. This day that God has given me, I'm not going I'm putting my life on the line for you guys. I'm putting my life on the line. I want to show you guys a little haul of the things that I got from Mr. Price. And this is the best angle I can do, guys, under the circumstances. Like, I don't want us to do the bathroom again. But anyway, please look at these leggings. They're high-waisted. Please look at these leggings, guys. Nice and high-waisted. And I'm even wearing a, like, I'm wearing a thong, TMI. But, like, they hold everything together. Do you get I think they were about, like, 130 rand. And they're long look how long they are so comfortable like i didn't know i needed them in my life lingerie <laughs> uh this is a cute set that i got from mr price I, especially for like bras and stuff i really think it's cute so i got this i really like a see-through detail with bras you know i think that's very sexy so i got this with the matching um underwear um the 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 panties were 80 rand and the the bra was 140. Oh, that's quite expensive one. To start off the show, remember I said I went out to go get a jacket? I've been wanting a bomber jacket, guys, and I'm sorry. I don't care what Zara is selling right now. But I'm obsessed with this. Like, I thought it was going to be... Okay, it could be... I could have gotten an L, but there wasn't a large. So I got an extra large. It's a bit big if I do this. Yeah, well, but I'm gonna wear it like this, you know. This is so cute. Like, I, I literally want to wear it right now, but I, I think the weather is hot again. Actually, I'm not sure. I also got this bag for my laptop. I've been wanting to find a nice tote bag, guys, but like, I don't know. I don't know if it should be expensive or should I. Um, the problem is that the last time I bought a tote bag was from Mr. Price and. The way Evelia really Pella like it tore like it was so bad, but I don't want to buy an expensive tote bag and wear it every day at work, and then nah, you it will deteriorate it at some point. So I'm really torn. I'm really torn. So I'm thinking if I have different kinds of bags for my laptop and my work stuff, that way if I do eventually invest in a big in a like a, another expensive tote bag, it won't wear out because I'll never wear my my LV never fall to work never that that is never happening but yeah just got some snacks and champagne well sparkling wine for my cousin just to get us in the vibes you know before we head to the wine farm 
Um, I'm literally just gonna request my ride. I'm trying to make the most of this day, you guys. I also have dinner plans at 8. And I have to come back and get ready for those dinner plans. Ah! Good morning. Guys, Ingati, Cape Town is the... It's like the, the, the place for content creation because everything just looks so clear. Yeah. The lighting is different. Hey, but it's just so bright. Because I'm gloomy, What the hell? It, but it is the Guys, we're on our way to, to Hidden Valley Wine Wines. Yeah. 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 It's a bit chilly. So we're wearing our brown leather dress. So okay, we're just gonna DJ and this was a vlog and even if I'm not cool, so we can look at it. I know you can't help but to be yourself around me, yourself around me. And you know nobody's perfect, so I'll let you be. I'll let you be. It's the way you picking your woman choose wisely because what look at me yo hey yeah uh uh look at me what i'm so I saw a woman like me walking by, I would give her the world. It's from Yellow Sub Trading. Shout out to my colleague and friend Tanya because she's been plugging me with Yellow Sub Trading and I haven't looked back since. Like, wow. I'm going on a date kind of nervous like literally not in the little sense why am i nervous why am i anxious it's just a, it's just dinner <laughs> but i feel like i look so beautiful today and if i can just be vulnerable a bit with you guys i've had two glasses of red wine this is post the wine tasting and i'm going out for dinner so you can imagine your girl is feeling a bit easy but you know it's so good to feel myself this way um you know when you are fighting for your life in corporate okay or fighting for your life in your workspace um career wise a lot of your self value a lot of your self identity a lot of your self affirmation um self-assurance just like understanding who you are is it it's in question you know because you come across a lot of different kinds of people competitive calculative just like people from different spheres with different stories you know um you're no longer the center really and every mistake that you do you know is so like everything that you do really is nitpicked and you da, da 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 and I know I'm sounding like a wet blanket because there's absolutely nothing wrong with working um, but I feel like I've been seeing a lot of these conversations happening on TikTok and I, I wish that more women who are working and stuff like that were honest about like how hard it is sometimes balancing you know yourself how you feel about yourself your beauty your especially for me being a mom also like i have so many roles to play 
so it feels so good to see myself you know looking so feminine and beautiful and soft and nice and being appreciated and just laughing you know like uh, my cousin and i went to wine tasting and it was a beautiful experience but the most valuable thing there was just like how much we were just laughing my cousin and i will chat and laugh okay and i haven't had those moments like those free peaceful childlike moments where it reminds me a lot of you know who i used to be and who i still want to be you know the person that i want to be um which are the person that i believe i will be after i've accomplished the things that i want to accomplish but it also reminds me not to put it aside like reserve time to remind yourself this aspect of life like you still deserve to be happy and to laugh it does, it's not every day go 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 it's not every day fighting it's not every day competitive it's not every day proving sometimes you really just need to be pretty and enjoy life and i feel like there needs to be a balance somewhere somehow and i think my content has gone a lot like my you guys have seen me transition transition from so many stages of my life and i think this is you guys may not understand or know now but this is another layer of me that um i'm trying to adjust and to incorporate because i'm a full-time mom i'm a full-time um worker in my field i'm a full-time content creator trying trying and clearly struggling <laughs> um i'm a full-time woman who wants to be social and to enjoy life and the finer things in life like there are so many shoes that i'm trying to fit in and um when i don't post when i don't dress up when i don't it's obviously because i'm struggling to find the balance but you know we'll get there but yeah i just wanted to express that it feels good to see myself like this and it's it was it's a good reminder while the year is still starting guys because the year is still is starting okay it's only march so it's a great reminder that i'm still very much me i still very much deserve luxury and sp like spontaneous moments like fun laughter you know you know like femininity sex pleasure you know all of that stuff so yeah cheers let me go have a 12 course fine dining experience <laughs> that I'm, I'm home like I literally landed this morning and I made it home I'm feeling a bit refreshed my brother was like we should come chill and have drinks so that's literally what we're doing I think I'm gonna close the vlog here because I'm still doing baby steps in terms of getting back to like vlogging and being like proper content creation and stuff like that but I'm yeah man I'm having a savannah which is probably not wise because my doctor would never suggest that but get away to it's my last vacation day before I go back to work and stuff like that oh also my mom is coming this week so that's gonna be super exciting you have to find fun things to do with her you know and I know you guys love her in general and so that's also gonna be cool but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.